evening, everyone. Uh, we are going to talk in English uh, tonight, so bear with us, please. Um, <laughs> uh, my name is Andrea Shildi, and um, <clears throat> I'm one of the organizers of Django Girls Budapest. Um, I work as a software developer, and I'm also a team lead, and I've been volunteering for Django Girls as a mentor for uh, more than three years now, and I joined uh, the organization as an organizer uh, this March together uh, with Anna. Hi everyone. Uh, does it work or should I use this? It works. It works? Okay, All right. So as uh, Yuti mentioned, um, I'm also co-organizing the Job Wars event in Budapest. So basically I got to this event in 2014. I was an attendant at that time, so I took part in this one day um, programming workshop at that time. A year later, I think I became a, a mentor uh, or a coach. Um, I don't really know the timeline yet, but now I'm one of the organizers. Uh, besides Jungle Girls, I'm uh, working remotely for TopTel, uh, an American company. Um, um, okay, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, so I'm uh, one of the um, operational leads within the company, helping the operations team to do the operation work. Good. Uh, so, um, but before starting this presentation, you know, it's Jungle Girls and uh, we're going to uh, talk about how it, what it is actually and how it works, but like, hands up if anyone knows what Jungle Girls is. Okay, so it's going to be an interesting uh, presentation for the others, it seems. So let's start it. Yeah, so... Jungle Girls is a one-day workshop um, where we, um, together with the mentors and the coaches, uh, we teach small groups of women who have never coded ever before in their lives um, some basic um, web development techniques. So basically, before the workshop we have an installation event and, um, and um, the teams are working together with a mentor so the girls who have never been introduced to um, tech and um, uh, programming before can learn a little bit about the field. Uh, so far we have uh, had eight events in Budapest um, and during those eight events we have taught uh, more than 270 women uh, the basics of web programming uh, and we are uh, fortunate to say that this is a very popular event, so usually we get three times as many, um, as many applications as we can accept. Uh, why does it matter? Um, so basically Django Girls was founded to support diversity. And um, to demonstrate this di uh, why diversity is important and uh, why it matters to us, I would like to ask you some questions. So please raise your hand if you work in a tech company. <coughs> Small one, big one. <coughs> yeah, so keep your hands up uh, if you have immediate female colleagues who work in tech. Yeah, about half third of the hands are stay up. Um, and keep your hands up if you have a female leader in your group. Yeah, so technical. Technical. So yes. So so not a lot. Uh, why does it matter? Why diversity matters, and why we are talking about this? So it has been proven that um, uh, there has been there have been researches that have proven that um, diversity with a group of people in a tech company promotes innovation because if you are working together with the same same type of pe uh, same same type of people uh, that you are, who are very similar to you, then you, you are less inclined to go for radical ideas. And if you are working in a more diverse group, then you will have a lot more perspective and those perspectives are going to uh, conflict and from those conflicts there can be a lot more innovation. And in tech, uh, I don't think there is, that it needs a lot of explanation that innovation is key for the financial success of a business. So that's, that's why diversity matters. And our aim is to uh, make all the women who are interested 
invited in the tech field. So we don't want to turn everyone into a programmer. We just want everyone to be invited, to feel invited if they are, uh, if they are interested in the field. So this is our goal. So the next chapter in our presentation is actually how it builds up and uh, you know how we make it happen. Uh, and please keep your questions at the end of the presentation. So you're going to have five minutes at the end. So uh, Glo uh, Jovo Girls is a global non-profit organization. Uh, each country can, uh, or like city, can apply to organize an event. So basically, wherever you are, and if you're interested in that, you have the motivation and energy in the spare time, you can apply for the Global Jungle Girls and then tell them that, hey, I'm interested in organizing an event. This is what we did and you know, we're doing it for the eighth time and we're planning the ninth event for spring. Uh, this is non-profit, so basically we need to make it on our own. Uh, we need the people to help us out, which means that the coaches who uh, come there and um, basically help uh, three women in their group, uh, their volunteers, and um, we're volunteers as well. So um, we also need some sponsorship for uh, make it happen, because it's like one day of a workshop, we need an event or a venue where we can place at least 40 people with internet connection, you know, all day um, having like in a winter time, maybe heating <laughs> and all these other uh, parts uh, to make it happen. Uh, so yeah, this is how it works. Everyone's volunteering. We need uh, like sponsors to make it happen. And um, you know, if uh, anyone's here interested in sponsoring us, then you, know, you can find us at the end of this event. Um, about how it works, uh, you see already mentioned that we have an installation party. So usually we have on Friday evening we gather at the venue of the place. So if people have problems with installing software or installing um, any tools that's uh, needed for the next day, then you can come there. And also it's good for networking and uh, getting to know your coach and meet the others. Um, and the next day we start with the, with the events. Um, there is some um, like introduction presentations, but the, mainly it's working within a group of four. So one coach and three uh, like attendees, and you work through a tutorial which is available online as well. So if you're interested in what we're working on, you can go to jungogirls.com and slash tutorial, or I don't really know the exact like girl, but you can find it, I'm sure. Um, and um, yeah, we also like uh, manage catering and everything else, but, but basically that's how it works. And I mentioned we're gonna have an event uh, in the spring, so 2019, we're already starting organizing it, or uh, about to. Um, so basically, that was all what we wanted to talk about. Anything else that you want to mention or miss? Um, I just would like to emphasize that uh, for every event, we need sponsors. So if you think that your company would be interested in sponsoring an event like this, because uh, your company is dedicated to diversity and making uh, the tech industry in Budapest more inclusive, then uh, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, we are very happy to have uh, every company as a sponsor. So, thank you very much. I think someone recognized someone in the picture. <laughs> Yes, please. Uh, what are the key challenges right now in, in making this happen over, over again and growing it further? Um, key challenges is always bottlenecks. Bottlenecks. Uh, definitely not the attendees and the coaches. I mean, uh, we always have a lot of attendees interested in it and a lot of helpful coaches who you know want to uh, join. Um, there's a process for doing it, so you know we are limited by like how it should be organized and basically I would say maybe our time and you know having like spending enough time to put the pieces together and make it happen uh, because we're doing it on the side. Maybe that's one of the bottlenecks and uh, maybe the sponsors. So you know you cannot really organize something for which you don't really have money. So everything should be done in a way that the end goal is just like formalizes, but what do you think? No, I totally agree, like uh, our time is definitely a bottleneck for organizing the event and uh, raising the money for 
uh, making it happen. Uh, sorry, last question because the time is really over. Do you have any numbers? How many of the attendees can go any further? So, how many of, of the uh, girls who is finishing this uh, workshop is this stays in this uh, environment? Uh, Want to answer? Yeah, so there was a global survey and based on that, like 24% of the people who responded to this, they actually uh, managed to, you know, uh, become, like, be part of an IT world and like starting working as a software developer. So it's like, I would say a pretty high number. Do you personally have a success story that you want to talk about? Yeah. Uh, yes, we do, but uh, our time is up. So <laughs> Sorry. During the year. Yeah, yeah, we can talk about this later. But we have a lot. Yeah. Thank you very much.